would not recommend this one. Ugh. Hey guys, what is going on? I finally have a little minute to update you. I've been working all morning, editing, two day vlog, and then doing this other job that I'm excited about. So I'm still, I'm still going with that, but I'm just having a little break, charging up my camera and my phone and stuff. And exciting stuff. I've got to uh, put my laundry up to dry. So I've bought this in my room just so that it's not taking over the living room right now because that's mainly where I'm filming at the moment. Got my Christmassy gear. <laughs> I've just mo made myself a little hot chocolate as well in my Christmas mug. I got this from Zara yesterday. It's really cute. It's actually a really nice mug as well. Oh, I'll show you the setup that I did real quick. I'm getting distracted already. I know I said I wouldn't show you, but I have to. I haven't even got the candles on yet. But like, it's so Christmassy. Oh, excuse the bin bags. This is all stuff that I need to give away. I'm gonna try and get that collected very soon. And then, yeah, basically, I need to order some packing boxes as well. I wanna just start packing my stuff early because I ha I know that it takes forever. I've got a lot of stuff. Although I have sig like a significantly less amount of stuff now, which I'm so happy about. So I don't think the packing's gonna be awful, but I just wanna get on top of it so that I'm ready when it comes around to moving time, basically. So I've just, there's so many things I want to do and I just don't think I'm going to have time. I just got a few party dresses because I wanted to do like a party dresses looks thing for Insta, but I don't even know if I'm going to have time for that. Hey sis, let me know what time works for you from now on for tonight. I've just started using that dictation thing where you like speak and it writes the text out for you. Why did I not know about this until like very recently? I'm such a grandma with technology. <laughs> That is the one thing any vlogger or YouTuber does not want to see. I'm gonna try and recover it. I'm so gutted right and now. I've just now taken out the ends of my braids because I've decided I'm gonna set them wavy. But I thought I'd show you guys that last step just to show you guys how I get that effect because I know I've had questions about that as well. I've boiled the water so I'm gonna take you with me and show you what I do. But yeah, I've just taken out the ends basically up to where my natural hair is. So basically, I'm just gonna put boiling hot water in there. Oh, just did a loose braid. Water is boiling up. I'm just gonna dip the hair in. See how shrunken that is now. Let it dry. having a chat with my mum I just got off the phone from her and this side is dry I redid really this side because for some reason one piece was like all crin crunched up <laughs> um this side's dry so I'm just gonna take them out to show y'all yeah that feels a lot more me see how it's like a bit scraggly yeah so they're more kind of boho braidy vibes now but obviously just a bit chunkier I think I definitely prefer it like that just gonna run my fingers through it just a little bit. They're kind of crimpy though. Oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's the vibe now. Cause I wasn't really loving them let out, but I feel like that's just cause the braids went really skinny. But I feel like now that I've done the ends, I'll probably wear it down a bit more. Just feel a lot more comfortable with it like this now. But yeah, that's usually how I do the ends. So I do get a lot of questions about that as well. Let me know what you think. I am going to try and crack on with finishing this last bit of work that I need to do. I'm stuck on like, so basically it's a reel for the, the one I'm excited about. But I'm just stuck on like kind of how to finish it off. I've got like the main shots and stuff, but I need to do like a voiceover and stuff. And I'm like, I just want to get it right because I'm really 
excited to be working with this brand and I, I don't know I just want to do it right I don't want to feel like I have to rush it but I also kind of feel like I do have to rush it because obviously I'm leaving London soon and I want to get it approved and stuff before I go <sighs> so I'm going to try and figure that out right now and then yeah I don't know what I'm going to do later I'm thinking I might go to the gym um, I've been way too busy to go like the last few days but also I've been so sore so I thought I'd just take a bit of time off so yeah, I might go to the gym but other than that I think I'm just going to start packing for Manchester because I'm busy tomorrow all day with mum and then I don't want to be like rushing last minute on Thursday when I'm getting the train like pretty early Friday morning so yeah I'm gonna crack on with this work I'm sorry these few days have been a bit rubbish I think once I'm in Manchester it should be like I should be doing more stuff hopefully we'll see I feel like it's gonna be freezing though so like don't take my word on that <laughs> I shall see you guys in a little while oh it's so much better mm. I'm now currently trying to pack and I just have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't even know where to start. It's gonna be so cold in Manchester. It's like, I don't wanna take just one jacket, but then coats and jackets take up all the room. And then what about my shoes, like boots, trainers? That takes up all the space. And I don't wanna take loads of bags. I just wanna take one suitcase and maybe a bag. This has become like the bane of my life at this point. Like I'm so sick of feeling unsettled. I really thought I was gonna like do a pack with me kind of situation, but I have nothing to show you. I have nothing to show for myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm in a pretty stressful situation right now. Packing is not helping, but I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna treat myself. Oh. See, this is the kind of shit that happens to me. <laughs> Bit of mince pie there, rest of my mince pie there. I'm gonna have to go get another mince pie, but I was treating myself to a mince pie and a little glass of wine in my new wine glasses. Aren't they so bougie? Wait, I'm so scared I'm gonna break it. It's so bougie, I love the shape. These are just from Zara Home. I got them to do like my little, my little Christmas setup for that job. They just feel so nice to drink out of as well. They're so bougie. I just thought I'd have a little glass of red to unwind and help me get through this packing situation. So basically what I've done is I've thrown out like a load of things that I think I might wear just kind of as a rough plan. I think a lot of it's black just because I need it all to kind of work with each other they don't have like a lot of option to like vary the things i'm gonna wear because i want to just take maybe two boots probably just one do you know what i mean i've got to take trainers to work out and so i've got like a rough cut and then i'm gonna like kind of see what outfits i can make with it and then go from there but then there's also the dilemma of trying to make sure that you've got enough stuff to stay warm and then you want to like accessorize i've got this pink beanie that i got from weekday recently and i'm obsessed with the color so that's definitely gonna go in there i'm gonna go replace my mince pie and i'll update you on the packing as we go along also i don't think i told you guys but i ended up redoing the three braids here to fall on the other side so it's more of a middle part i just felt like once i'd undone the actual ends and made it more kind of boho-y it looked nicer with that part so I don't know let me know what you think Okay, so the issue here also is that I just don't have enough tops. I have loads of like summer tops, but I don't have any warm wintry tops. Shit. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm actually crying inside. Right, I need to think about this. Mm. I also got these shoes from Zara the other day. This is the thing, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything cute for Christmas Eve and if I need to dress like dressy, but I got these beautiful heels. I've actually got these in like a cobalt, like, I think it's cobalt, like a royal, really bright blue, but I thought the black ones were just stunning. Like the way the light hits them. I love that the heel isn't super high and because I've got the blue ones, I know that these are actually so comfortable. They were 59.99, but I feel like they're timeless shoe. So I'll have these in my wardrobe forever. So I'm definitely gonna take those with me, I think. I love that they're, I mean, they're sling back, but at least my toes won't be out. I need to figure out like a smart kind of outfit to go with those just in case as well. Oh, I'll take a blazer. I wish I had a nicer, more structured blazer though. <sighs> dilemmas you guys okay no guys i'm just trying on like potential new year's dresses and the first one i've tried on i i'm overwhelmed I'll give you a little sneak peek i'm so happy that this has worked out in my favor uh, it is stunning i don't want to share it with you guys until new year's just because i don't want to ruin the surprise but this is beautiful I don't even think there's any point in me trying on the other ones now. 